This is Ajax, being put through its paces on the Salisbury Plain training area. 589 of these vehicles in various guises will be at the heart of the Army's armoured fleet for decades to come. I've had a great experience. I don't think I could ask for more. Who doesn't want to get in a giant, expensive tank and drive it around? A great experience. One of the first gunners on these uh, vehicles. And I've been given special permission to be one of the first to see them in action. Bulford, home of the Household Cavalry Regiment, who are one of the first to get their hands on Ajax and learn the capabilities of the vehicle on the Salisbury Plain training area just next door. But while they get the vehicle out there, let's start with the basics. Just what is Ajax? It's a family of vehicles with digital systems that are more lethal, reliable and mobile, keeping occupants safer and have advanced sensors that are much better at gathering battlefield information, I-STAR, as the military call it. It comes in six distinct variants. Ajax itself for reconnaissance and direct fire with a fully stabilised 40mm cannon. Atlas is the recovery option with over 30 metric tonnes of winching power. Argus is for battlefield engineering, while Athena is a command and control variant. Rounding off the six are Apollo with a five-tonne crane, it's the repair variant, and finally Ares, the specialist troop carrier. There have been well-documented problems and issues getting Ajax to this stage. I want to see it in action to see if they've been overcome. What has been said should be put in the past. Um, I think that's a completely different vehicle. The one that we've used, we haven't encountered anything like that. We were all very sceptical, not very, but somewhat sceptical as to what we'd um, experience, but everything that we have done on the vehicle is just proof that it works well. It's been really impressive seeing Ajax being put through its paces, but what's impressed me even more in some ways has been the reaction to the soldiers who've been using this new platform. So Adam, you're the gunner on this particular Ajax, uh, what's it like? So it's uh, a great experience to be, be being a gunner, one of the first gunners on these uh, vehicles. Because you stepped up, didn't you, from the previous one, and what's the contrast like? The previous vehicle that we was uh, working on was the CVRTs, and to put it into context, it was more of an analogue system, whereas the Ajax that we've got here, that's more of a digital. What's it like to drive? Oh, it's really easy, really simple. You wouldn't think it's 40 tonnes as you're going cross-country. It's really light, really nimble. It's proved resilient, hasn't it? Yeah, so the reliability's been really good. So on exercise, four vehicles left camp and people were expecting hours, days before the first casualty came back through the gates. And two weeks later, all four vehicles came back in, mechanically working, just as they left. So it's really exceeded expectations of the rest of the regiment, I think. We're now all very excited for what the future holds, having taken it out on exercise and understood firsthand its capabilities. I think everyone is just really keen to play with it uh, and learn more from it. And I think once we know exactly how to use it in all the best ways, that will be huge for the British Army. The Household Cavalry Regiment are spearheading the conversion to Ajax. What they learn during that process will be knowledge shared with those who follow. For Ajax, though, the next milestone comes when the first operationally deployable vehicles are issued to troops. Tim Cooper, Forces News, Bulford. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.